Hi everybody, it's me again and back in Minitab. What I want to talk about real quick is this graph function so that I can go over with you how to make some of the most basic um, graphs that um, Minitab will do for you. So, what I have down here in my um, worksheet is I have two columns of data. I have the number of errors made by a team and the corresponding number of wins that team has. Remember this is a variable in this column, a variable in this column, and what this means is that for team number one they had 102 errors and 65 wins. This would be 126 errors and 91 wins. So remember that that's the way that your data is um, arranged. So I'm going to come up here to graph. The first one I want to make is a histogram. And what I'm going to do is it's going to open this little dialog box. And basically what I want is I just want a histogram of one variable. So I'm going to say a simple histogram. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to open this window for me. Now, I have my choice of which variable do I want on my histogram. Do I want errors or wins? And I'm going to graph errors. So I'm going to highlight that column, I'm going to say select, and then I'm going to say OK. And you'll see that what it's created for me is a histogram, the number of errors, here's the frequency, class midpoints. So basically what Minitab has done is it's gone in, it's created a frequency distribution, um, and then it has placed the number of errors into a class and created this histogram for me. So um, that's all it takes to make a histogram. Now if I click close, it's going to say the graph will be removed from the project. So it's going to ask me do I want to save it in a separate file. What I'm going to say is cancel because when I save this project, I want it to save my data and all of the graphs that I've made associated with it. So I'm just going to minimize it and it's going to actually now be at the bottom of my screen. In fact, let me see if I can find it for you. It's actually going to be at the bottom of my screen way down here. See where it is right down here? Um, this is the histogram. So if I wanted to make it big again and restore up, there it is. It just goes down to the bottom of the screen until I'm finished. So let's see what other graphs we can make. All right, I'm going to come up here to graph and I'm going to get it to do a dot plot now. So what I want is I'm just going to do a simple one of data in a single column. I'm going to say OK. And what Minitab does is it remembers the variable that I just graphed, which was errors. But I don't want to do errors this time. I want to do a dot plot of wins. So I'm going to select the variable of wins, hit select, I'm going to say OK, and there's my dot plot. So that's my dot plot of wins. Again, very similar to my histogram. Remember, dot plots are good for small data sets. So I'm going to minimize that. It's going to go down there to the bottom. Let me see, it's over here. It's going to come down here to the bottom near my histogram. So if I wanted it back, I would just click on it, and I'm going to minimize it again, and it goes right back down there. So Minitab hides all of your graphs behind your worksheet. They aren't really gone. The nice thing is up here in your session window, see what it's told me? It says, hey, you just made a dot plot of wins. It let's me keep track in this session of the things that I've done. So let's go to another graph. We've done a histogram, we've done a dot plot, let's do a stem and leaf plot. So I'm going to click stem and leaf. Right. I'm going to do errors this time. I'm going to say select. We're not going to worry about trimming outliers at this point. We'll deal with that later in the semester. I'm going to say OK. And because a stem and leaf plot doesn't have a quote unquote picture, it's simply going to create my stem and leaf plot of errors, n equals 30, meaning I have 30 data points. The leaf unit is going to be in ones. So what I know is that 
this is what my stem and leaf plot will look like. Remember we talked a little bit about reading a stem and leaf plot. What I'm concerned with here is creating a stem and leaf plot. All right, let's do one more. We've done histograms, dot plot, stem and leaf. Let's do a scatter plot. Remember that what a scatter plot is, is a scatter plot of two variables. So now when I do my scatter plot, I'm going to say OK. It's going to open a window, and it wants to know which is going to be Y and which is going to be X. So I want my errors to be Y and my wins to be X. I'm going to say OK, and it's going to give me the scatter plot of errors versus wins. So what I have over here on my y-axis are my errors, and on my x-axis are my wins. What if I want to do it backwards, the other way? I go to graph, I go to scatter plot, I want a simple, I'm going to say OK. What I'm going to do here is for, I'm going to simply say my y variable is now wins, my x variable is going to be error, and I'm going to say OK, and that's what wins on the Y and errors on the X looks like. So again, if I wanted to, if I was going to just close this, Minitab is going to say, wait a minute, it's going to remove it from the project, and I can't undo that. Do I want to save it in a separate file? If I wanted to, I could just save just this scatter plot as a separate file but instead I'm going to say no because what I want to do is now I have for these two variables errors and wins I have created a histogram, two scatter plots, a stem and leaf plot, and a dot plot. So now what I want to do is I want to save the whole shoot and match. So I'm going to say save project and I'm going to save it as mini tab whoops, graphs and I'm going to say save. So think for a minute and now when I go to reopen that file not only is my worksheet going to be here and my session window but all of those graphs I created will still be housed within this one big project. So hopefully that at least gets you started. Um, we'll work on it some more but that's kind of the down and dirty quick making a graph in Minitab. See you guys later. Bye.